Hey guys, um, this video is really, actually, I don't know, it's hard for me to make, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I, I don't, I never turn down free help, um, it was a hard lesson to learn, I used to say no all the time, and sometimes I still catch myself, um, <laughs> resisting help that's offered, but I try to never, um, turn down free help. So, um, this time I would like to actually ask you guys to help me, um, because, okay, so my wheelchair is fully functional because I have multiple sclerosis, it's uh, progressive illness, mine's getting worse so far, you know, it's mostly affected me from the waist down, now it's affecting my hands, blah blah blah, I've said all this before in numerous videos, but, um, anyway, one of the seat functions I use most frequently is the seat elevator. Um, the elevator lift takes my chair up. Um, it's supposed to take it up to counter height. Uh, if I do not have an elevator lift, then um, for one, I would not be able to reach any of the upper cabinets um, in my apartment because I can't stand on my own. Um, I used to be able to, but I decided to let my legs atrophy, and so, um, now I, you know, forgot that standing comes in handy when the counters are so high. But, um, anyway, so I need the elevator to reach stuff in my cabinets. I also need the elevator because, like, when I do laundry, um, then I the only way I can see to the bottom of the washing machine um, in the apartment complex washing machines is if I go fully raised in my wheelchair then I can reach over and kind of balance on the armrest a little bit and reach down to the bottom but that's a maximum height like I couldn't even see into it all the way if in my other chair so um, anyway and then also if I'm at stores or um, whatever if something's on a high shelf my seat elevator can take me up there most of the time i mean i still can't reach the top the very top shelves but um at least i can get you know up and i can reach a lot of stuff on my own so it's very um important for um if nothing else just like independence you know um I need, I need that to be able to do my laundry, or I'm going to have to have someone else do my laundry. I mean, the maid service people are supposed to start next week, and so I guess they could help, but, like, I want to re I want to keep as much independence as, as possible. So anyway, the wheelchair guy called me back today, and Medicare does not pay for the seat elevators any longer, which is stupid to me because, like, like I said, that's the most important, I mean, function for a lot of reasons. Um, and, but anyway, so now they aren't covering it. So I told Wade that, um, that I needed to have that lift on my new chair. Um, and so, so anyway, he just told me the price for it. They were trying to negotiate a deal with the manufacturer, the wheelchair manufacturer to get those lifts provided at cost to patients with multiple sclerosis or some of the other um some of the other conditions that really require you to like the the elevator is not a luxury it's a necessity for people like me and others um so anyway they were trying to get that cost that deal fell through and so now um the elevator will cost twenty seven hundred dollars to put on my chair. Um, now, I'm. My sisters have offered to help me out with that cost, which um, is really awesome, and I appreciate it very much. Um, however, my sisters help me out with like everything in life. Like I'm tired of just always. Oh, you know, I don't know, like. I believe that what I do matters. I believe that dancing around town, that even making videos, that like all my videos talking about peeing on myself and um, 
depression and like whatever else how what life is like just being in a wheelchair i think that stuff is significant i think it's valuable maybe not financially but it's valuable um to other people to help to help like i don't know i mean it's the stuff i do is is good stuff and so i'm asking you to please if you if you like my channel if you um, believe in me and what I'm doing and try to change the world one smile at a time um, dancing around town in my wheelchair doing all this this crazy stuff can you please help me out um, you don't need to give me a lot of money or anything um, but I, I need to raise $2,700 um, as soon as possible he said that he might be order, able to order it um, in as little as two weeks um but i don't know and he said i he would take half as a down payment but um either way i'm gonna need to raise twenty seven hundred dollars and i'd really rather not um depend on my sisters depend on i don't know i like i just believe i believe in the quotes that i put on my chair all the time and they tell me they tell me to follow my heart and they tell me that this stuff that the, to, to be the change you wish to see in the world and to do like I wish to see people happy and that's got to be a good thing and and I know and like all my art stuff you see these <laughs> what um okay so this is not gonna make me money like I'm I'm a starving artist basically I'm not starving but I mean you know but I steal I don't steal okay um I pick up when the lines get discarded on the street the little wires. the little wires with flags on them when they fall down and they're just laying there on the sidewalk and I pick them up and um, I take them home because I use them to make stuff like this now all of these things that I'm making um, the plan is to make a thousand of them if I mean, when I make a thousand of them, whether that's like in, I don't know, three years or whatever, when I make a thousand, then, um, then it's for a surprise, uh, overnight surprise, and then it'll be done. But it'll be fun, um, and so it's worth it. So anyway, but, like, it's not like that's gonna make me money. I mean, uh, making dollhouses out of cardboard boxes. It's not like that's going to make me money, but I'm desperately wanting to go to the library and do like a workshop with the kids um, about how you can make boxes into stuff. And um, I think it would be so much fun. And I also, I I have books like in my head. I, I'm i trying to write books. I, I don't know. I'm trying to do things that legitimately might earn me an income. But in the meantime... I really need another wheelchair and um, I need it to have that elevator lift on it. So if you can help, I'm going to put a link down here um, and yeah, if you could help then I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm also trying to save money for a van. So if you know of any kind of wheelchair van, um, I know nothing about cars and I really don't like car shopping. Um, so if you have a relative or someone who who maybe doesn't need their wheelchair van anymore maybe they bought one just for kicks because they were in a wheelchair and then now they don't need it so um help me out like just help me try to find one because as soon as i raise enough money to buy it then i i need to have something to buy okay so yeah help me out please thanks bye oh yeah i have to I have to figure out, like, how to stop it. I guess, oh, now that the screen works, I could just touch it. But now I'm talking. Like, I feel like that would be kind of rude to interrupt this conversation that we're having, that I'm having with myself. Um, and you, because I know you're out there. You're out there in virtual land. Just, just, oh, and also, <laughs> um, introduce me to Ellen. Ellen needs to meet me. Like, I need to meet Ellen. 
she needs to meet me, we would have fun together. I would give her a, la a ride on my wheelchair. She could sit on my lap and I could roll her around. It would be su super, super fun. Um, anyway, so introduce me to Emma. She can help with so much stuff too. Um, but yeah, help me out. Please, thank you. Bye.